Hey there, crazy kids! I am the good old gamer! And that's right, we're playing Mass Effect again! But this time we're going to play Renegade Shepard. That's right, I've never played Renegade Shepard in my personal playthroughs. So I thought this time it'd be fun to play out a Renegade Shepard. So let's do that. New character. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. New ID. Please log no. in to access your profile. Wrong one. We're going Please to log go in to access your profile. Ben Shepard, short for Benjamin. Decrypt faster. No Warning. data corruption detected. Boo. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre service history. Earthborn, because it's the most renegade, and I've never played this back history before, and I know there's a quest in Mass Effect 1 dealing with it. So let's do that. Psychological profile. Ruthless, also the most renegade option, and I've also never played this. And there may be a quest involved with this, I'm not sure. Confirm military specialization. Now I asked you guys on my channel earlier which class would fit best for a renegade, and you guys said soldier, and I agree. Plus, I've never played a soldier class in the Mass Effect series ever since I've had it, so I figure why not do Renegade and Soldier, two things that I've never played in Mass Effect, for the fun of it. So that's what we're going to do. Now we have all these bonus options because I played Mass Effect several times before, so I've unlocked all these. Now this may be a weird choice, but I'm going to pick Decryption as a soldier because of the way that looting in Mass Effect 1 works. You need electronics and or decryption in order to get to various loot containers that are locked. Now I'm going to have a squad mate with me that's going to take care of the electronics for me, but I am going to get decryption that way I've got everything covered. And I can loot, because I like looting. Confirm facial identification. I'm gonna change the appearance. Let's go with... Let's go with that guy. Let's do that. Go with that. Complexion's all right. We're gonna wait and do the scar last because we wanna make a face for Shepard that doesn't have a scar because in Mass Effect 2, the scar gets healed and uh, you never see it again. So you don't wanna make a Shepard face that revolves around some certain scar, one of these scars here. Um, you don't want to make a face that looks good with that, necessarily. You want to make a face that just looks decent on its own, and then you can put the scar in later as a bonus, because it's only in Mass Effect 1 that you're going to see it, so... Uh, head. Let's go with that. I don't know, like that, I guess. Too bad it's so angled, it looks weird. And then the stupid cheek gaunt thing, you can't even hardly tell. I guess we'll go with that. Eyes. 
that. I'm not going to mess with the eye stuff here. Mean Shepherd, Renegade Meanie. Um, never had brown eyed Shepherd before, so we'll go with that. Jaw. Level that out a bit. Want a big, strong chin. Okay. Mouth. Frowny mouth. Um... I don't want to mess with this too much either. So I guess we'll leave that where it is. Good hair. Let's go with that. Go with that. Hair color. with brown there too. Eyebrows. What's his mean shepherd? No eyebrows. <laughs> no, that looks weird. I think I like that one. Yeah. That's his renegade. -y. That actually went pretty well. I think that's pretty good right there. Let's go with facial structure and mess with that a bit, see. Ooh. Let's go with that. Whatever. Probably not the best looking shepherd out there, but he is a renegade and a soldier. Let's see. I need to find that scar. Give him a good scar. Oh yeah, the one right across the eye. That's that's what we want. Mean old grizzled shepherd. Renegade, yeah. All right. Profile reconstruction complete. Ben Shepard, Earthborn, Ruthless, Soldier, Decryption. Basically, I'm going to try and play out a Renegade Shepard. Main story uh, choices are going to be Renegade. Probably going to be a jerk to a lot of the people in the game. Uh, there is one caveat, though. I really love the Mass Effect crew, and I just don't want to be jerks to them. So most of the time, I'm probably going to go with Paragon Options when talking with the crew, the squad. Um, there may be some times that I pick Renegade just for the fun of it, but um, other than that, I will try to play out a Renegade um, when it makes sense. 
There are some renegade options that I don't find would make sense for my particular character, how I want to play them out. But for the most part, at least, especially for the big major story missions, story choices, I will pick renegade. But yeah, anyways, Ben Shepard, Earthborn, Ruthless, Soldier, and then the bonus is decryption to get into loot. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty veteran, sure, why not? Auto level up off. Target is slow. Squad power usage active. I don't usually have subtitles, but because I can't pick different volumes between direct discussion dialogues and the sort of rambling that goes on in the background, kind of, I'm going to pick subtitles. Um, auto save, yes. So, yeah. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. 
Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun already, I can tell. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Right, right, so to it. I'm going to level up first, and we're gonna take Intimidate. Because I'm Renegade, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. And there's going to be one or two points in this first mission that we're gonna to get to use it, so might as well. And I'm gonna to get to train in assault rifles because I'm playing a soldier. Sweet. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Hmm. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Um... I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, I'm not going to be too mean if I don't have to be. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Hmm. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. I want your beret, Jenkins. Why can't I have a beret? 
Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. It's a good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. Sounds like my kind of job. This is all just wild speculation. <laughs> the Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Oh, renegade options are so silly. Kind of fun. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Sweet. Salute! That's right. Salute. Yeah. Alright, so... We have to go in here to continue. Um... I think I'm going to do that next time, though. Not entirely sure how long this video has been, but with character creation and getting started and everything, we will continue this next time, because that dialogue there with Nihilus will begin the next mission. The first technical mission. So, let's do that next time. Make a permanent save. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the Good Old Gamer, and we've been playing Mass Effect Renegade Cell. Stay tuned for more next time. Bye-bye.